Hello fellow web developers, I'm Martin and I recently saw this redesign by Paul. Um, I don't try to pronounce his last name so I just fuck it up and then everyone is angry and so so uh, let's just focus on the redesign. So it looks nice, it's awesome, it's uh, probably responsive but um, what caught my eye is the little ho uh, hover animation you see the border bottom which grows and shrinks again and um, what I like uh, to do if I see stuff like this is open code pen and just uh, build this it's a, it's a, um, I can sometimes I just uh, do it for fun or I save it as a private pen so I have a little library kind of of stuff I like and try it out and maybe I make a blog post or screencast or whatever. So um, let's let's see how this uh, is done. Sometimes I just inspect and see and um, do do the <laughs> see and do and everything. No, um, just uh, to if I have no idea but it looks cool, I just inspect the code and um, see how it is done. But um, sometimes I just start and see how I would uh, do this. So um, I had a little uh, short look at his code and now let's see um, how we can do this on our own. So what we need um, is, uh, let's say, three links. They just link nowhere and are called link and another link and uh, third link. Very creative, Martin. Thank you for that. So, um, don't know if we need it, but let's just write a, a little reset. Um, you see, I don't prefix anything. I say it again, I'm in CodePen. I have write SCSS and I have auto prefixer enabled, so the generated CSS is prefixed automatically. So, um, we've got that. Let's give the body a little padding so it looks a little bit nicer and just um, center the links for, uh, yeah, just that looks a little bit nicer. So, okay, we have a link and the text decoration um, is none. We want to use uh, the border bottom to animate it and to position it where we, we want to have it, where we like it. So this is nice. So what I uh, what I like to do is if something um, happens on hover or hover, uh, it's, it's probably pronounced, um, then I just add it all in here so I can, as I go and make the things up I can see what I'm what I'm doing and uh, don't have to hover over the links over and over again to see what I'm doing so what we need is um, it's, a, it's an awesome um, opportunity to to do this with a pseudo pseudo element um, we can do a lot of things with them and they don't require any markup, no span elements or so. So let's say we have an after element, this has a width of 100%. This means um, we have to position the links relative and let's say we make them display inline block because we probably want some padding around them to make the click area and for ex um, and the tab area for a touch device a little bit bigger. So oh, we have to <laughs> write it the right way so it works. Nice. Okay, fine. Um, let's say, uh, let's see. Um, we have a width of 100% and a height of one pixel. And let's say the background color of our uh, little line is, oh, a nice red. So, um, then we position position <laughs> at absolute and at the bottom.
bottom. And this is almost nice. Left zero. So, perfect. So, this is the state it should look if we hovered over the, the link. So now, let's say um, uh, on hover, the after element, oh no, um, what we, uh, how, how do I, I, I already know what I want to do, <laughs> this is the, the, the question is how I, ex how I explain it to you. So this is what we want to end up with, this is, that's fine. So, um, but um, the initial state is that uh, we need to transform and scale it, scale on x axis, so means horizontally to zero. That means it's not there. And on hover, we do the transform and scale x back to one. This means just as wide as it is. So that's nice. That's perfectly fine. Now we want to animate it. So we need to add a transition to the after element and transition of, let's say, um, 0.3 seconds uh, linear. Linear is probably the um, standard. So now you can see we have an animation and our links. Awesome. Yeah, so uh, you can tweak the animation, you can yeah, do whatever you like and uh, here are some other predefined, um, I don't know what the word is for that, ease or ease in. And if you want to go totally crazy, you can go to cubic bezier, don't know, pronunciation uh, mistakes. <laughs> so, and yeah, now you can, you can tweak your, um, your animation with this, um, nice visual helpers here and you can um, compare them. This is your created one and this is the one you compared with. So let's say we have linear and want to compare it with our newly, oh, sorry, newly created one. Okay, then you can just, whoa, um, select and copy it and instead of ease is in you can add the cubic bezier with these values and now you can see we have an ugly looking animation so if you don't know what you're doing uh, pro you should probably stick to one of the um, defaults or just tweak um, this a little bit you can the yeah it, uh, <laughs> um, change the duration. So it's a really nice website um, and can help you a lot, especially if you're working with a designer, you can go here and tweak together while looking at it. And yeah, so that's it. It's, uh, that is all you need. Um, keep in mind that um, transform, you have to prefix it with WebKit, MS, um, yeah. Just in case you want to support some older browsers, there's no support for this in IE8. So um, if you want to support IE8, you could just do something like visibility, uh, I'm not sure, visibility hidden and Visibility visible? Not sure. Oh yeah, that's it. Nice. Uh, I can show you that it works. So it's hidden. And now it's there. This is uh, how it would look in um, uh, IE8. That's fine. Not awesome, but okay. Yeah, so that's all. I make this 
Um, okay, I add this to the. Okay, so so it's fine. So it's awesome, and I will save that. I will um, make it public and link it below in the video description or in the blog article, um, just uh, just in case you want to have a look. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more like that or have um, some uh, things you want to know about or um, yeah, have a triple shot you want me to uh, code, this is always a nice, a nice, um, a nice thing to do. So thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye.